When you're trying to get healthy, lose weight, build muscle, getting enough protein in your diet is one of the hardest things for most people to do. But the thing is, these days, there are some amazing products at your local grocery store that are way higher in protein than they used to be. So if you know what to buy at the grocery store, getting enough protein in your diet is really, really easy and it can taste really good. So in this video, I'm gonna share my top 10 favorite products that I eat all the time. They're all right at or over 50% protein each and they taste amazing. You guys are gonna be shocked when you see some of these. Let's dive in. So number one, is going to be zero carb or low carb breads. I eat the crap out of these breads. Um, these were a huge game changer for me when they hit the market because how else can you get bread that has zero carbohydrates in it and it's only 35 calories a slice, right? So this just opens up so many incredible doors with these products. Um, a lot of people ask, how, how do you have zero carbohydrate in a, in a piece of bread? Well, what they've done is they've basically taken the, the carbohydrate, the starch out of the bread, and they've replaced it with fiber. So when you eat bread now, you're getting a ton of fiber, which is good for you. It's good for your gut, it's good for your bowel movements. Um, your body doesn't absorb fiber, so you don't get any real calories from eating the fiber that's in these breads. But when they remove the starch and the carbohydrate from the bread, all that's really left is just a little tiny bit of fat and a lot of protein. So these breads, when you actually look up the macronutrients on these breads, they're well over 50% protein for bread. Like bread that is over 50% protein is just ridiculous. So this opens up so many amazing avenues. We can have sandwiches. Um, I make tons of uh, oven bakes and casseroles in our cookbook with these breads. Um, we have we have all the different kinds of like sweet and savory toasts in our cookbook um, that make for really great protein snacks. Like two slices of this um, seasoned up with a sweet or a savory seasoning makes an amazing protein snack because it's over 15% protein. Uh, you can make French toast with this. That's absolutely amazing. There's just so many awesome doors that open up when you start utilizing the zero carb bread. Uh, when these first hit the market, they were not that great. They were harder. People would say they tasted like cardboard. Um, but now the companies have really figured out how to make these so that they are super soft and supple, uh, just like regular white bread. So uh, this is the Lewis Bakery Shop brand. I get this at Walmart. Um, their Hawaiian is awesome, zero grams net carb per slice. Their Honey Keto is really good as well. One gram of net carb per slice, both of them 35 calories per slice. Absolutely awesome. I eat the crap out of this stuff. It's kind of obscene how much bread I eat to still stay lean and healthy. It's awesome, highly recommend. So number two, also kind of in the bread or the uh, the carbohydrate, the starchy uh, category is going to be zero carb or low carb tortillas. Again, these were an absolute game changer for me when I figured out that these were on the market. Um, you can get different sizes of tortillas and they're all really good. These are the um, La Banderita carb counter brand. These are sort of a, what they call a snack size tortilla. They're not the massive ones. They're sort of like the medium size that you could use for a taco, a big taco or a decent sized burrito. Uh, and these are only 60 calories per tortilla. And they have three grams of protein in them. Um, only four grams of net carbohydrate in this tortilla. Guys, I don't know if you have seen what the calories and the macros look like on a regular tortilla, but it's kind of ridiculous. Like regular tortillas, if you just buy a pack of regular flour tortillas at the grocery store, or if you go to the Mexican restaurant and you get a pack of regular, uh, the little flour tortillas that come with your fajitas, they're like 150, 200 calories for one tortilla. And it's like 20, 30 grams of carbohydrate. It's insane. So the fact that we can get zero carb or very, very low carb, like three, four grams of net carbohydrate, tor you know, tortillas. Again, they're taking the starch out, they're replacing it with fiber. It tastes amazing, um, super amazing game changer. These are not 50% protein, um, but they're they're not bad. Like they're just an incredible game changer when it comes to being able to have tacos and burritos and, and all the good stuff. Super awesome find. 
Okay, next we're gonna get into cheeses, right? If you're someone who is especially trying to lose weight or build muscle, it doesn't really matter. If you're just trying to live a healthier lifestyle and you're trying to enjoy your food, one of the first things that you lament that you're probably going to have to give up is cheese, right? So now there are actually some really good, extremely high protein options for cheese on the market starting with good old American, great value, fat-free American cheese singles. These things are amazing. They taste just like American cheese singles that you would get at the grocery store, the regular stuff. The only difference is these are only 30 calories a slice, but they are right at about 50% protein. That's incredible. So 30 calories a slice, 50% protein. Now what I can do is I can start to take my zero carb bread or my low carb bread, throw that with my fat free American cheese singles. And just putting these two products together, both of them being at or over 50% protein, I've, I've got the makings of a really good sandwich with bread and with cheese, and I'm still at over 50% protein. It, it's kind of mind blowing how good this starts to get when you start to combine some of these very high protein products together that taste really good. If you've ever counted calories or macros when you're trying to lose weight or build muscle, then you've heard different like, you know, coaches and stuff throw around different macronutrient percentages that they use. And most of the time, people will recommend, you know, 40% protein to be a good protein range for your diet. Now, I personally strive for 50 in everything that I do, but it's just super awesome when you realize that you can have bread and you can have cheese on a sandwich and you're getting over 50% protein. In the old days, before this stuff existed, you had to eat tons and tons of chicken or beef or pork or whatever it would be to get that much protein in, but not anymore. So American Singles Cheese from Great Value, their fat-free cheese is really, really good. Highly recommend. All right, also on the cheese front, from Great Value, we have their fat-free shredded cheeses. They have a fat-free shredded mozzarella and a fat-free shredded cheddar. Both of these are really, really good. With some caveats, you have to know how to fix these properly in order to get the most enjoyment out of them. So these, you get about a quarter cup of shredded cheese for, it looks like about 45 calories, okay? And these end up being, Gosh, these are like 70% protein, right? So imagine you've always, everybody wants cheese. You wanna sprinkle cheese on everything, right? Cheese makes everything better, right? So now when you have these fat-free shredded cheddar, fat-free shredded mozzarellas from great value, it's like when you're sprinkling your cheese on your dish, now you know I'm sprinkling protein on my dish. Like when I make recipes for my cookbook, I use these a ton in the recipes and I lean on these a ton because when I add these to a recipe at 70 plus percent protein, the protein percentage of the recipe skyrockets, right? Because I'm adding cheese. So I'm adding massive flavor, good experience, that gooiness, right? But I'm getting more and more protein when I add these. So that makes these a really, really amazing option. Now, I said there's some caveats to be able to get the most out of the enjoyment of these. The thing about fat-free cheese is they need Fat-free cheeses need a little bit of moisture in order to melt properly. So if you were to just throw these onto top of a dish and throw it in the oven, like if you were trying to make a pizza with this and you threw it in the oven, and you didn't give it any moisture on top, then the cheese would, would sort of like burn and be like dry and hard. And since a lot of people don't know how to do this, they burn their cheeses, their fat-free cheeses when they try to make them and they say, these cheeses suck. This is horrible. I want the real stuff. But if you just, when you're cooking with this, if you just would give the top of your cheese just a very light spray with cooking spray, it will melt just like regular cheese. It'll be gooey and stringy and amazing. So fat-free shredded mozzarella cheddar, great value brand, awesome. These are like 70, 80% protein. Sprinkle some protein on your food. Awesome, let's move on. All right, the next one that I eat a ton of is egg makers. Um, there are different brands, uh, but egg makers is essentially egg whites, but it is flavored and made to taste and feel like you're eating whole eggs, whole scrambled eggs. And so I use these for so many different things. Again, this is one of those products that opens up so many new avenues 
to make all sorts of different dishes that are really, really amazing. And the, the amazing thing about egg makers or egg beaters, if you like the, the name brand, is that this is pure protein, right? Egg whites are essentially a pure protein. So if I look at the nutrition label here, zero grams fat, zero grams carbohydrate, five grams of protein per three tablespoons. So pretty much any recipe or meal that I add egg makers to, the protein just, the protein content just skyrockets, right? So I make scrambles with this stuff all the time. Um, I use this in our French toast recipe in our cookbook. Uh, our French toast recipe, you get four slices of French toast and it's like 77% protein and it's under 200 calories, which is kind of mind blowing that you can pull that off with French toast. But it's all because we use egg makers. We get the protein super high. It feels like you're using whole eggs and it's amazing. Um, we use this in a bunch of our oven bakes, uh, a bunch of our baked goods, our sweets, our mug cakes, all that different stuff. And it just is amazing. So egg makers really opens up a lot of doors. You're gonna love them. All right, moving into some more convenient options. Here are some of my favorites. When it comes to snacks, one of my favorite high protein uh, snacks is a built puff bar, okay? So these are really, really good. Um, this is another product that's not quite 50% protein. It's like really, really close. I don't know, it's like 47, 48, 49% protein. Um, but these are really, really good. These are, let's see if I can get it to focus. Nope, it's not gonna do it. There we go. Nope, not gonna happen. Ah, there we go. Got it to focus. So these, Come in at about uh, 140 calories per bar. Um, the built puff bars are, they're like a marshmallow inside and they taste really, really good. Sweet, chocolatey, uh, low calorie. For a snack, I like my protein snacks to be under 150 calories, so 150 calories or less. So these make a perfect snack between meals. Um, I, I, I love, absolutely love these things. They have a, a, just a regular built protein bar that is more gooey. So if you like your bars gooey, like a, like a Milky Way or something like that, then you'd probably like their regular built puff bars or built protein bars. But these are just so good. Uh, again, they come in at like 130, 140 calories per bar. And with 17 grams of protein, they are either at or just barely under 50% protein. So if you're going for a high protein diet and you love chocolatey snacks, this is an awesome option. Another favorite snack option of mine that is high protein are Quest chips. So Quest chips come in, they come in single serving bags and about 140 calories per bag. And these are over 50% protein. These are about 55, 56% protein per bag. So they're under 150 calories. So they're the perfect calorie size for a protein snack. And being over 50% 50, over 50 protein, uh, they're just a great convenient snack option throughout the day. I eat these almost every day. Between these and the Built Bars, my snacks are really pretty well covered throughout the week. So awesome, amazing option. Um, they've got so many different flavors too. They've got chili lime, barbecue, hot and spicy, which is which is like a flaming, uh, like a flaming hot type of a flavor. Um, nacho cheese, ranch, sour cream and onion. They've got all the flavors that you could possibly want in these chips. They're an awesome snack option. Next to last is going to be your premier protein shakes. Now it doesn't have to be premier brand. If you were to go to Kroger or Walmart or Meyer or Target, you're gonna see a bunch of different brands that have protein shakes that are 30 grams of protein. And when you look at their calories, they're in the calorie range of 140 to 160 grams per protein shake. That's a really good calorie and, and protein content range. So any of the ready to drink protein shakes that you see at, at the stores that have 30 grams of protein and they're in that 140 to 160, maybe 170 calorie range, then you've got a pretty decent protein shake there. But I absolutely love these. I actually never just drink these as a protein shake, but I use these in tons of recipes and I use these in my coffee. These make the absolute like perfect coffee creamer in the morning. So my favorite is the chocolate peanut butter 
protein shake from Premier. I put a tablespoon or so of stevia in there, pour this into the bottom of my cup, and then I take my coffee and I pour it on top of the protein shake and the stevia, and it froths and foams up, and it makes this amazing, foamy, sweet, coffee elixir in the morning that I have every single morning as a staple of my morning. Um, you can also use this in a ton of different recipes to get the protein content up. Um, just such a versatile product and so convenient too. So that's one of my favorite products right there. Okay, my life would not be complete without having a good cereal option. So cereal is one of those things that until recently, there was no way that we could have a good, high protein cereal meal. It, but that's changing, right? Cereals like breads, like tortillas, like pastas, the products on the market are getting better and better and better. So right now, the two best options that I have found are this Special K Zero, okay? uh, and then this Premier Protein has a great option as well. Um, both of these come in at right around, uh, so the Special K Zero is 150 calories for one cup, not bad. And the Premier is 180 calories for one cup, so just a little bit higher. The Premier has 20 grams of protein per serving. The Special K Zero has 18 grams of protein per serving. The Special K Zero is actually uh, right at 50% protein. Boom, 50% protein for a cereal. That's pretty awesome. The Premier Protein cereal comes in just a little bit under 50% protein, but here's the thing. When you mix high protein cereal like these two with a high protein milk option, which is the last item on my list today, which is Carb Master Milk, um, then you get a really super high protein bowl of cereal. So there, this is not the only high protein milk on the market, but this is the highest protein milk that I have found on the market is the Kroger brand Carb Master milk, their fat-free milk. Uh, it's fat-free and lactose-free, has 11 grams of protein, 60 calories per eight fluid ounces. So that puts it uh, over 60%, probably approaching 70% protein for this milk. They actually have a vanilla, sweetened vanilla version of this milk and they have a sweetened chocolate version of this milk, all of which are over 60, probably approaching 70% protein. So one of my favorite things to do is to buy the sweetened vanilla version of this milk and to mix that with my cereal at night to have a bowl of cereal for my evening meal if I just don't feel like cooking. Or really, you could do it for lunch, you could do it for dinner, you could do it for breakfast, it doesn't matter. The point is, you can have a super convenient, super high protein, super tasty meal that is not chicken. It's not beef, it's not pork, right? If you love chicken, if you love beef, if you love pork, like I do, I love those things. Don't get me wrong. But guys, I love cereal too, right? So that's my list of 10 different products that I pretty much keep in my house all the time, super high protein, and I use them to make an endless amount of variety of different sandwiches and cereals and recipes for our cookbook. Side note before we wrap up, if you're excited about all of this and you're excited to start learning more about products like this and how to use these products to make really amazing recipes and meals that you actually really enjoy without having to feel like you have to eat all the chicken in the world, then I recommend that you check out my cookbook, which is linked down in the description below. Uh, I pretty much take all of these products plus a ton of others and I put them into a ton of recipes in that cookbook. So it is a cookbook subscription. Uh, it grows continuously as I come up with new recipes. So currently we're at about 145, 146 recipes. We have modules in there that show you all of the products that we love and that we use in those recipes. And we'll show you in those recipes how to take those products, throw them together to make amazing tasting recipes. Every recipe in the entire cookbook is 50% protein or higher. Um, every recipe has 10 ingredients or less with an average of, I'd say, probably five or six. Uh, I source probably 99% of the products in that entire cookbook from Walmart, so they're easy to find and source. Um, 10 minutes or less prep time per recipe. I pretty much made this cookbook for people like me. I'm a father with a wife and kids. I run a business. I'm extremely busy. I just don't have time 
to go into spend 45 minutes making a meal. I need something that is going to be super quick. It's going to taste amazing. It's going to use very few ingredients. I can throw it together. I'm done. Bob's your uncle. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, check out the link below for the cookbook. I realize a bunch of people are probably gonna say like, who is this dude? He's been here for like one video on YouTube and he's already selling something. That's fine. You don't have to buy the cookbook. It's just there if you want it. Our clients think it's amazing. You'll probably really like it if you try it. Uh, there's a free trial for the cookbook. So you don't even have anything to risk by trying the cookbook. So if you wanna take it, if you don't, fine. I don't want you to have it anyway. There, take that. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you got any value out of this whatsoever, I would love for you to like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye-bye. Okay. Come on. Focus. Focus. Come on. Why aren't you focusing? I give up. I don't even know what I'm doing. I give up. The whole video is ruined. <laughs>